Hello! How are we doing folks? I'm uh, just hanging about really. I'm sitting down here. I've had me uh, zero tolerance subscription turn up. And uh, I was going to be doing my uh, sitting here on my calendar, filling in all my shifts for the new year. Um, I normally get an Iron Maiden calendar. And my missus has gone, nope, I'm sick of the fucking Iron Maiden, so I want something different. So last year, this year has just finished, we had a Bordeaux calendar. And then, uh, yeah, so we're in the calendar shop. I wanted to get another Maiden one. No, nope, sick of Iron Maiden, want something different. We doomed and hard, and we settled on a Bowie one. So here I am, sitting there, and I'm going to fill in days, 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 night, 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 off, 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 da, 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 and I sit there, and I work out all my shifts for the new year. And what am I meant to fucking write there, eh? Nothing. Useless. Never mind, I have to go get another one. Anyway, um, I'm sitting here with all the uh, bits I got for Christmas, working my way listening for them all, and I thought I might as well do a quick improv video and show you what I got. And then you put in the comment section what you got. So, uh, listening here in the background, we've got Mastodon with what's it called? Medium, medium rarities. Good, isn't it? Um, what we got here? We've got a. Uh, so I kept a little sticker here. Um, can you really see that? No, nah, of course you can't. Uh, basically, an odds and sods collection. Uh, rarities, unreleased tracks, live tracks, cover versions, instrumentals. What have we got here? Yeah. Oh, some lyrics. That's the uh, fold out of the album cover, and you just got some. I've always liked Mastodon. Mastodon are one of those bands actually that I've actually been following from day dot. I think I got into them. I first saw them live at the Download Festival around the time Leviathan was out. I really liked them. I didn't. I, I knew of them. I've seen bits here and there. I had a. There was a concert, a relapse concert. I think it was called Contaminated or something. And Mastodon were on there. Did a couple of songs. But I checked them out for myself. Uh, download festival. I think that was 2006. Sure, it was 2006. And uh, and that when when I saw them do that set, it was in a small, it was in a tent, and uh, it wasn't on the main stage. They weren't big enough at the time. And I think that weekend or a few days later, I picked up Remission, and then a week or two later, got Leviathan, and then uh, what was the one after it? Was it Crystal Skull? Anyway, yeah. So it was around the time the Viathan was out, but I bought Remission first, and I've pretty much followed them ever since. And they're, they're a great band, really. They've got a good, real good, interesting catalogue. They've always evolved, always kept things, always done something a bit different. They went full on prog for one album, that Crack the Sky, and then kind of brought it all back together in the last couple of albums. And yeah, so what we got here, we've got a couple of. Uh, Unalbum tracks really got a couple of instrumentals, a couple of live songs. White Walker, that was a cool song. That was on a picture disc. It's about the White Walkers from Game of Thrones. I remember, yeah, that was a limited edition. The postage was ridiculous. So I'm glad to finally get that. Orion by Metallica. That's going to be cool. They did cover Emerald by Finn Lizzy. Now, again, if anyone knows. Did they just do it live a couple of times, or did they actually record it? And if they did, what was it—a bonus track on something? I, I might already have it. I don't know, but I've never, never seen it on a release anywhere. You think it would be on this? So, anyway, playing in the background, and it sounds pretty cool. So, uh, next up, we've got this nice digibook edition of Ace of Spades by the Almighty Motorhead. Um, I have actually got a reissue of it here. This is three bonus tracks. None of those bonus tracks are on this. But two out of the three of these bonus tracks are on a couple of other compilations. So, 
please don't touch and stuff like that. But there's a track here, Dirty Love. I can't seem to find anywhere else, so I might have to keep that. But the main reason I got this, um, I got the Overkill reissue last Christmas, and that was really good. And this one, you get a full concert. Um, live at Whitler Hall, Belfast, 1981. Full show, 17 tracks. So I thought it was worth getting again, just for that alone. But let's have a look inside. I mean, I'm quite happy to pick all of these up actually. I've got I've got quite a bit of Motorhead, but not everything by them. So I think this uh, these reissues, like I said, the Overkill one's really nice. I might pick them up bit by bit and um, yeah, just start collecting them properly. Really, I mean, I know there's so many reissues and so many odds and sods that you can get with everything and there's box sets but yeah Motorhead are a band on it like I said, I've got one of these squares here is completely taken up by Motorhead but they've gone such a long catalogue that it's a bit impossible to get everything by them but yeah I, I want to concentrate a bit more on them going forward uh, Voodoo Gods The Divinity of Blood and um, for those that aren't aware, this is uh, this features George Corpse Grinder from Cannibal Corpse and a couple of other people as well. Let's write out, read out the uh, Victor Smolsky, Alex Voodoo. I think he's the main guy. You got George Corpse Grinder, Seth Vandaloo, Jack Eck Harrow, and Gene Bolden. I think that is um, all music written by Alex von Porschinder. I can't pronounce that. Uh, I'm guessing that's Alex Voodoo. Except for. Da, 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 da. Anyway, it's a bit of a. Oh! Mastered at the Sonic Train Studios by Andy LaRock from King Diamond. So that's going to be cool. Anyway, um, I picked up this. This is like an EP and album. I saw it had Corpse Grinder in it, and I thought I'd just give it a go, really. But it's a pretty cool album, so. Yeah, I've got this for Christmas. Not ah, here we go. Band members there. You can see George there. Um, I mean, it's it's pretty much death metal, but it's a bit. There's a few other bits going on as well. So, Pretty, uh, pretty cool project. I've not actually listened to this album yet, so I'll be playing this in the next couple of days. But worth looking into if you're a Cannibal Corpse fan. Obviously, if you're a Cannibal Corpse fan as well, and this is your first video uh, watching on this channel, go back and check out the Let's Talk About Monstrosity video. I was really happy with that. Um, and then, last but not least, oh no, I've got one more really cool thing to show you. Hang about, but yeah, we've got a new Vader album. Uh, Vader are Vader, aren't they? What do you do? They, you know, they released some of the best death metal ever um, early on in their career, and then as time's gone on, they've become a bit of a hodgepodge of death metal and thrash metal, and uh, and they tour constantly, and they become a real reliable live band. Really, they're just they're one of those bands that just play so often; it's just a second nature to them, and. Uh, this album though, it's just a it's half hour of Vader doing what Vader do. And a good addition to a ever expanding catalogue really. Um, you don't there's no bad Vader album. They've never really they're one of those yeah, reliable bands really that you can't go wrong with. Is it their best album? Probably not, but if you are new to the band, it's as good a place to start as any. Um, I didn't get this, but I did pick it up the other day. I had a look on Amazon and it was going cheap for 8 99 so I just grabbed it. And it turned up really quick, but yeah. Paul Diano, hell over Waltrop, so live in Germany. Uh, this is with the bands that went on to become Architects of Chaos. He actually recorded an album with them. So yeah, this is with that liner. So I think you've got some liner notes there. 
live shots. It would have been cool if this was a DVD, to be honest. I don't know why they didn't, but... Don't matter, I suppose. Uh, pretty long set. Bunch of Maiden tracks, but a couple of Killers tracks on there as well. We've got Impaler, uh, Children of Madness from um, Battlezone, Martial Lockjaw, The Living Dead, that's off one of his solo albums, Beast Arises, and then you've got Oh, Blitzkrieg Bob, a Ramones cover, but yeah, the usual, everything you want off of the uh, Maiden set as well, so always worth picking up. And this, I was well happy to get this. Oh, this was a limited edition, it came out, I thought about getting it, and then I thought, no, nah, don't worry, and then when I went, yeah, I am going to get it, it massively went up in price, and I thought, well, that's that gone. And uh, it turned out my wife had gone and picked one up. This is the limited edition picture disc of the first Iron Maiden album. I love that photo, by the way. I think that's such a cool live photo. Uh, so you take the thing out in the background. That is one thing I love as well about the album covers of Iron Maiden Killers. I love the houses in the background. It looks like round here really so I just think it's really cold but yeah look at that how cold is that look eh and then I say I've got I've got the album I know it off by heart but it's just a cool thing to have cool thing to stick on the old shelf and I'll there's people it depends who you speak to when it comes to pitching discs um, they generally they don't sound as good as the actual LP you normally get them for display purposes but then uh, it's generally regarded that they have uh, they have improved with time so they're, they're better now than they were before so swings and roundabouts I don't care like I say it's a nice limited edition piece I was glad to get it real nice surprise on Christmas Day so and that's about it um, happy new year everyone thanks for watching and uh, yeah after a few days off and a bit of a uh, this time of year is always a bit weird, isn't it? So, but I'll be getting back on it soon. I've got a couple of interviews in the pipeline. I just need to tie people down and get it done. But they're all bands that I've been speaking about previously. So, that'll be coming up. And Friday, we've got Maiden Cast we'll be picking up again. We've had a bit of time off. I think Friday, we always put about on a Friday. One was Christmas Day, then it was New Year's Day, and you know it is. But... We're getting back on it this week. So this coming Friday, Maiden Cast with Luke and we'll be doing Killers, Menace to Society. So, yep, I'll catch up with you all later. Thanks a lot.